What's up guys, Funk here with a quick mod tutorial, mod help video, whatever you want to call it. This one is about the Kenshi load order. So the first thing you're going to want to know, and I'm going to put this link down in the description, is this guide here written by Atlas from the Project Genesis crew. It's pretty much going to be your Bible for this whole thing. It's super important. It really breaks down how everything works. It breaks down different mods into different uh, like subsections, I guess, so you have a better chance of actually you know, uh, organizing this thing. It really just makes everything so easy. So uh, I would say that this is like the framework for any kind of modding that you end up doing. And just going forward, always refer back to this if you have questions. First thing you wanna know about load order is it starts at the top. The things at the top are the first thing that gets loaded and the thing all the way at the bottom is the last thing that gets loaded. The most important stuff goes at the bottom because you want to load it last. Stuff like Reactive World would probably go here in Overhaul and Big Changes. I think he references this. Yeah, Reactive World right there. Boom. So that's how that works. Patches go underneath that. And then finally, Economy, which is just anything, obviously, monetary. So that's pretty much the basis of how you go about making your mod order. I like to show you guys how I actually make mine. So as you see here, um, I have all the different types of mods just listed here for mod type. And then I have a section here where I assigned it a value. So for UI and graphics, because that's like the lowest tier of uh, mods, like you get stuff like uh, loading screens. Uh, I think I have transparent UI in here. I have detail textures, shaders, stuff like that. That would go at the bottom. That's stuff that kind of loads first and just covers graphics. And then all the way at the bottom I have overhauls and big world editions that's where you get like stuff where they change cities with the cities rebalanced or the swish mods or something like reactive world world state edits all that stuff so my little trick here and i work in excel pretty much all day so i'm relatively competent at this so i don't expect you guys to do it as well as i do it but what i do is i will go in and i'll give the mod type a name so for this one loading screens fixed um I don't remember what exactly was fixed about it. Something's fixed about it, but uh, it's a good mod. It makes cool loading screens. Basically what I do is I'll highlight right here. I'll paste it in here, boom, just like that. Um, I have a VLOOKUP set up here where it looks in this top chart and it like, if it says UI and graphics mod, it assigns it this value. You don't have to do all that. You could go through and you could like give everything UI graphics performance, like that is that, and then sort it like that and then all of them together just assign it an arbitrary number i assigned these numbers the way i did because uh just i guess preference ease of order and i went with 300s because for some of them like armors and weapons i think i'm up in the high 60s possibly low 70s now so i really needed the room to uh add i think i have in total if you look down here i have a total of 222 mods so it's definitely uh it's definitely a beefy mod list so after you do that, I like to assign it like an individual number. So this is like the 100 section of, of mods. And then the most important one for this one is shaders. Uh, I want this adds like shadows and stuff to things. And I want that to go last. So I want the enhanced textures and then whatever items and stuff are affected by detail textures. I want that to still take effect. Then I want to remove all those extra particles. This is like a performance thing. Basically, when I do three times speed, I don't get any hard loads anymore, which is great. Highly recommend. And then all of that, I want to be impacted by the shader mod here. So that's pretty much how I have that set up. So I put that as 99. And then over here, which is like the actual, like the way it's going to be ordered, it's just a that plus that. So 199 is the last number in the 100 range so literally nothing will be after this unless i rearrange some stuff after you get all that set up so let's see i have uh that i have like new races and again definitely refer on back to this here it'll really help you to figure out like uh what goes and where so race additions new races race cosmetics hair eyes body features stuff like that base game monitor races stats all that kind of stuff that will go in this like new race race edit stuff awesome um game starts that's pretty self-explanatory it's just game starts um faction edits that stuff uh, i have in here like all my bounty mods because i'm doing a bounty hunter playthrough but this adds a bunch of i kind of classified it as simple additions it adds a bunch of stuff to the world but it's not 
super groundbreaking, I guess. Uh, but yeah, they're all in here for me. So after I do all of that and I assign them all their own personal values, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I just come over here to this total order, which is summing it up. And I do smallest to largest because again, the most important mods are at the bottom of the list and they will have for my mod loading system, they will have the highest value. They're in the thousands. So everything with a thousand at the bottom of the mod list is all economy stuff. And then what you have to do there is you go to your Kenshi data right in here. You go to mods.config. Here is your mod list, like your mod order, like the, uh, when you launch the game and you have to hit the up arrow like a hundred times to move your mods around. That's actually all this right here. It's super, super easy. So you would just control a, which selects everything. Um, that would select everything. Come down here. Control shift down control C to copy everything jump back over Control a control V to paste it So now this would be my mod order as I made it here I'm not actually gonna save this because I already have my mod order set up, but now if we come in here Play Kenshi You will see all of the mods in here like you saw that the loading screens fix was my top one if you go all the way to the bottom, you'll see I have my two economy mods. For me, I use Profitable Slavery and Pocket Change. I don't know if these are necessarily economy mods. They're not like enhanced shops or anything like that, but it does add like a monetary transaction thing. So I was like, whatever, this might be economy. It doesn't seem to affect anything negatively. So that's cool. If you ever want to update the config, like if you manually move something around, like let's say I switch these two for some reason, you can just come over here and hit save config. Once you hit save config, it's actually going to update this. So I'm filming this right now at 11, 11 PM on a November 5th or yeah, November 5th. So there it is. Boom. Exactly how I just did it. So there you go. That's a quick, easy way that I make my mod lists. And again, I'm going to post down in the description, the guide written by Atlas. So you guys can follow that and help with your load order. Good luck with your load orders and have fun modding. Have fun playing Henshi later. Hey everyone, thanks for watching my video, and if you did enjoy it, feel free to like and comment because that will help me with my channel growth, and if you're interested to see where this channel goes in the future, make sure you subscribe. Later.